Okay, so right now I'm going to clean the hair out of a necklace chain. Um, I've been looking at ways to prevent my hair from getting caught. That, that doesn't matter. I always have a necklace to wear. And getting magnets on my chains, going to a cheaper chain, different kind of chain. I like my chains. Um, okay. So I was trying to find different ways online of how to get the hair out of your necklace. Okay. This I wore a couple extra days just so I could get some cut in there. Okay. So I've read different places where it says Nair. Okay. I'm not willing to put Nair or lie on any of my chains. I am not willing to burn it if it's a cheaper chain, which this isn't, but I'm still not going to risk it is to burn it with a lighter or a match. Um, use an exacto knife. That's hard. You're going to need tweezers and an exacto knife. And then somebody said melt it, burn it with a hair dryer or a heat gun. Um, no. This is the easiest thing I've found is to take and just get a pair of cuticle scissors. Okay. You get a hold of the hair. You're going to hold your chain. It's going to pull. Okay. Sometimes you get the chain, which... You'll know if you have the chain, it doesn't close all the way. Okay. It's gonna pull. Just pick it, pinch, and pull. If you're pulling too hard, you'll know. Uh, it just pulls it out. Like I have bunch of hair there. That's not going to work out right. And yes, I might be shaking a little because I hate doing it, but it's got to come out of the chain. bit at a time is probably better than trying to get a whole bunch at one time. The music I'm finding is on SoundCloud. They have some pretty awesome music. I love it. Little dog, he rings the bells to go outside, but I just had him outside. So he thinks it's time to go play. We're not gonna go play with the neighbor's dog right now. It's freezing outside. It's like 21 degrees. I'm not taking him out so he can play out there. We'll play in here. He knocked his bell off the door, so he's playing with that. See all these little bits of hair. It's horrible, but this is effective. And I haven't broke a chain like this at all. It gets all the hair out. Just pick and cut, pick and cut. Okay, I have a little bit on the other part. That. See, I got the chain right there. Some little bits of hair. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is break one of my chains. So, yeah, if you're afraid to use the nair, the lie, the fire, my advice to you is get a pair of cuticle scissors, gently cut and pull. Okay, it's simple. And there you go. 
Oh, there's a little fuzz there. I think that's on the napkin though. Pretty awesome. I can commence to wearing my jewelry. And that's, there you go. So, yeah. If I would have broke it, I have it guaranteed at the jeweler anyway. I just take my paperwork and they clean it, fix it, everything. So I wasn't worried about breaking it, but this is the way I get it off because I've asked them and they told me, get little pins and dig at it. Oh, pins take forever. It's horrible. An X-Acto knife, I'm always afraid I'm just gonna cut into the chain. I don't wanna damage it. As long as I leave the cuticle scissors so that they're touching hair and not grabbing onto the chain, we're good. All this nasty little hair stuff. There you go. Good as new. There's the hair. Ah! Now I just have to straighten out my chain. Oh, I see a little bit. We'll get that. That's not going to be a problem. 